Hey, what's up, everyone? I'd like to share a story which happened the last week in which I saw myself as anger coming up in the face of another person who who was pushing me to to go to New Zealand for a eco village workshop. Uh, which I have nothing against. I just am not able to afford it within this time frame. Therefore, I made an agreement with myself that when someone asks me, can you do this or not? And if I can't do it, I have to speak my truth. I have to set my boundaries. And so... When this, when this person asked if I can go to New Zealand, uh, I said, no, I'm not able to do that. And then when this person asked why, then, then I saw anger coming up and self-righteousness and ego coming up within myself. So then after she asked why why can't you go i i felt kind of offended like well can't you just take no for an answer and um then she started telling me stories about you know the wright brothers and all these little inspirational stories about how people who've had no money have you know manifested or whatever and I, I really I really felt disrespected by this. Um, I was trying everything in my power not to either walk away or say something rude. But instead of saying something rude or, or walking away, when I became pissed off, I just simply started to breathe without saying anything, without agreeing. I kind of just stopped the conversation because I, I saw that I was a lot of shit was coming up, a lot of anger. I was really, really furious. And, and then she said, oh, well, you look like you feel uncomfortable. And um, I was uncomfortable. And I told her if she continues to do so, I will walk away from her. But I, I just would like to share the point where... I didn't react instead of uh, saying something I might regret creating conflict I simply started to breathe and not say anything which caused her to be aware of what she was doing to me and in a way in which she was sitting across from me directly making eye contact about a foot of space between each other and I did feel uncomfortable because there's people around me and they could hear our conversation. And that's another fear of mine is, is uh, being called out, right? Like in front of other people. That's a big, a big fear of mine and a big pet peeve. And I just really makes me feel uncomfortable when people call me out in front of when, when other people are listening. I also had a fear that the other people that were listening were judging me. I had a, I also had a fear that the person who wanted to wanted me to go to New Zealand after I left would start talking behind my back about how difficult I am or whatever. And I would like to just state that I'm I'm not uh, I'm a very very I, I don't. Um... But I have to be honest with myself and say, if I'm not able to fulfill something, I'm not able to fulfill it. And, and, and that's why I said that in the conversation, so I, could, so I could set my boundaries first. And then when I saw that she was not exactly respecting those boundaries, I became upset within. And somehow I just started breathing really deeply breathing out all, all the anger out of my body and I told her if she continues to, to do that I will walk away 
<clears throat> and um, I told her to stop pressuring me, and then she said, I'm not pressuring you. But the, the thing that, that triggered me inside was was almost like the evil eye she was giving me while in the conversation. It's almost like she was speaking to me in a condescending way, uh, which triggered me. So the, the conversation actually ended up <coughs> ended up on good terms because in the end, she thanked me for being honest. And then I told her, you know, if everyone could just be honest with each other, the world would be a better place. And when we both agreed on that and we hugged each other and um, she said that the le lesson she was teaching me is not just for the New Zealand, but for the future to not depend on money to do the things I want to do. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.